Hey folks, it's Mike from the Pen Outpost. Today we're going to start a new series. Uh, if you can't tell by looking, we are going to be working with Twisby. Um, Twisby is a brand that I would think most, most people are familiar with these days. Uh, they are mostly known for their pens, but uh, Twisby is actually one of those companies that uh, tries to look at the fountain pen holistically as far as the products that they make that allow you to use the pen. So they make three distinct products. They make the pen, they make the ink, and they also make ink bottles that are designed to work specifically with their pen. Now, all of that stuff could be its own video. Um, each of these things individually could be its own video. So for these videos, uh, as usual, we are going to tackle the, the inks and give you a quick overview on those. But uh, just in case you're not familiar with uh, the Twisby ink bottles and how they work, uh, they have some, their lids are compatible with their other empty ink bottles that you can buy and their ink bottles are designed to work with their vacuum filling um, and their uh, piston filling fountain pens. So. It's a, you can, all of the accessories work together, which is great. And um, it's, it's really a neat company. All of their products are very high quality and uh, I've been a fan of them for a long time and I'm glad to finally have them in the shop. So let's get started. The first color we're gonna look at, oh, and incidentally, as far as the bottles go, uh, their bottles are beautiful. They are uh, 70 mils for the big ones. They also have um, some smaller bottles that are, I believe, 18 mils off the top of my head. And there's, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, I want to say there's 11 colors total, but I have to go back and go check. But um, so the the bigger bottles, the 70 mils, nice frosted glass, beautiful top, um, really really nice quality bottles, nice and heavy too. So let's go ahead and get started. This one is Twisby Black. Ooh, bubble. thick. Now, blacks, as we have discussed in the past, um, can have a lot of different undertones. There's cool blacks and warm blacks, and then there's you know blacks that have other properties to them, like waterproof or permanent or archival and things like that. And Twisby, to my knowledge, <clears throat> does not have any of those additional um, qualities. It is a, it's not a pigmented ink, it's a, it's a dye-based ink. But uh, the underlying quality of, or the, uh, the undertone, I should say, the undertone of this ink is a warm color. Um, it, it dilutes down to a dark, dark, dark purple. So it's not quite in the, the blue range, which as you can see, let's see if you can see that. There's that purple that it dilutes down to. But it, it doesn't come through on the swab. You don't see that kind of purple undertone on the swab. But it is a nice dark black, and I actually like it a lot. Let's go ahead and let that finish and see if we get anything out of it. Okay. Uh, as far as this black goes, it is a nice, dark, well-behaved black has a tiny bit of gold sheen. Not um, anything that I think you can count on, but it's definitely there. And um, like I said before, it's a little bit on the warmer side as far as blacks go, and I've got a couple of quick comparisons here. I pulled Takasumi first because it is a cool black, and you can see that, that bluish undertone here versus that uh, more of a darker uh, reddish, goldish purple, like I said. Look at my, my water's purple uh, undertone. And then I pulled Dark Matter too, because Dark Matter also has that kind of 
gold undertone sheen, that subtle sheen that some black inks do have. But it's uh, cooler than this, but not as cool as that. If you put them side by side, there you go. You can see the three uh, that I pulled. Cool, warmer, warmest, as far as blacks go. Good stuff. And one thing, uh, one last thing about Twisby that I forgot to mention earlier is they come with an inkwell. So this is what you put inside your bottle, and when you flip the bottle over, the inkwell fills up, and it and it allows you to. Uh, it stays in the bottle, by the way. You don't want to get ink all over your fingers, but when it's in the bottle, it gives you a way to fill your pen from a smaller quantity of ink uh, instead of trying to use the, you know, the, the the big bottle and trying to get your 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 nib down into the bottom of that corner when the bottle starts running a little low. Uh, this just stays in your bottle if you choose to use it that way, and it makes filling a tiny bit easier. So there you have it, Twisby. Great stuff, looking forward to the rest of the colors in this series, and um, I think it's gonna, be, it's gonna be fun. All right, three milliliter samples, 70 milliliter bottles, the pen outpost on eBay, and thepenoutpost.com. Thanks for watching.